is one of the biggest problems we see with almost every pet um, above the age of two almost. Just like with you, you should be brushing your teeth every day. So for animals, same thing. If we're not brushing our animals' teeth, then they're gonna definitely have dental disease. Big things you worry about is tartar buildup, gingivitis, bad breath, and it can even turn into worse um, dental disease as well. Because everything starts with the mouth. It all goes in through the mouth. Further down the line, you worry about connections with the kidneys, the liver, your heart. So all very important to you know where it starts, and that can definitely be the oral cavity in the mouth. So just like, again, with people, there's a number of things that can cause issues with our pet's dental health. One, genetics. We know that some breeds and some types of animals are more predisposed to dental issues. So specifically, you know, poster childs are dachshunds, chihuahuas are really small breed animals. Cats, as they get older, ferrets like to break their teeth. Um, those breeds, we just know and expect them to have problems as they start to age. If we're not doing any dental care at home, like brushing or doing water additives, those animals are more likely to get dental issues as well. So brushing is the number one thing you can do for your pet. It's the easiest thing you can do. You do it every day at home, as well as offering treats and chew toys that actually have been you know, approved for dental and oral health care. Almost every time we have a pet in here, we do an exam on the oral cavity, just looking around. And even if they're a healthy pet, we do examine it every time. So the procedure includes pretty much everything involving anesthesia and the scaling and exam. So because these animals are here going through a procedure that involves scraping at their teeth and flushing their mouth with water, they do need to be under general anesthesia for their safety, as well as to ensure that we can do an appropriate scaling and get their teeth cleaned up as well as possible. Um, things that aren't included but may arise, things like dental x-rays, which are always recommended, medications for pain and infection, removing the tooth itself, those are not included. But generally, we don't know what to anticipate until we have the pet under anesthesia for its full dental exam. We do cater per animal when we recommend them coming in for dentals. So if we have a, a really nice cleaning and everything looks really good, you know, we might not need to see them for a few years. Whereas we have smaller breed dogs and cats tend to have, you know, more dental disease. We do recommend sometimes almost six months. So it's just, it's case by case basis. Mm -hmm.